Hey, welcome everyone. Tom here from Park Avenue Trading, your chief dealer to help keep you sane in these insane markets. While other gurus will tell you what happened yesterday, I'm going to tell you what to expect today and what to watch out for. I do all the work so you don't have to. Let's get on with the sterling dollar from yesterday. We'll, we'll talk or do a really uh, quick little uh, recap on the analysis. Um, let me get to my notes right here. So <clears throat> we said, I said yesterday sterling was basically in a bullish turn, term. Um, my tongue is stuck at this hour at 7.53 in the morning. I said yesterday that sterling had a bullish tone <laughs> not turn um and most likely uh it needed to break 129.90 okay i also said there was a short-term resistance at 129.70 yes yeah, so if we can break 70 we can get up to the figure levels it happened to be like 129.90 i said you could expect that if we go up to that 129.70 level, we could get a pullback all the way down to 129, the figure. Didn't happen. It was just a slow grind back down. But I also gave the potential safety valve of the 129.40 open. And that's basically what it did. It, it went up to like 67, then came down, went down to like maybe 38. And then it just, I mean, this has like been paint drying so really what we're looking for today is a, a little bit of an acceleration of this move hopefully all right um and we are above the 130 level which is good it's important now uh there's today there is support at 129.62 okay so if you got long and you know so you got long at 70 you know really you should be literally looking at like the 62 level as a what's going on here type of thing and not no panic i mean it's just a normal natural reaction if marketplace can come down to that no panic. actually you can go through it um i would be concerned if sterling was to break um hang on let's see uh one twenty nine say thirty three that'd say something's wrong okay but it's still well within it's still bullish tone here okay so today what we what i'd be looking for is if we can get above 130 30 i think that we're going to go past the 130 say 57 level that i had as a target for yesterday um and then now it's going to track around it's going to track between 130 57 130 the figure it's going to play around in there the ultimate uh target technically uh, for sterling is the 13157 level and we haven't been there for a while but it, it is on target to go there and it's just a very slow movement i mean i'm bored to death with this trade already um i'm gonna be uh, completely up front with you i i bought yesterday at uh 129.91 I, I put the, the trade into the trade group and i explained it this way Hang on a second here. Let me let me pull it up for you. Here's the little graph. I you know the chart I put up for the guys at, uh, and gals uh, in the trading room, and um, I basically said here, I think going long sterling yen with a tight stop. Need to figure out exactly where. Okay, I'm gonna buy the break of one twenty nine ninety one. Stop loss one twenty nine sixty four and a half. And here was the chart pattern I was looking at. It's basically this three bar we had this spike up it, it failed okay we had this three bar pattern i was i was interested in this high okay this is a classic old school breakout it's like 59 percent accurate um so i wanted i i bought this and it basically just sat there all night finally we got above the 130 level so and i actually put down today i am so bored with this trade and that that happens to me a lot you know um i really like complexity chaos and contradiction that's that's what i like when a marketplace is just doing this i talk myself out of trades i i just get completely bored so really i, I put my stop in this trade i actually peeled some off right now just a small amount of my position off and i moved my stop down to 129 uh 40 just in case there's any stupidity because i want to be looking out of the markets i don't really want to be paying attention to this paint drying session that we're having right now so hang on one second let me get over to the other chart 
Okay, so what we have for today, all right, we're above the 130, 129, 90 level, 130 level, which is a good sign. A break above 130, uh, say 30, brings us right up to that 130, 60 level. We could get a, a retrace back down to say like 130, say 20-ish, 130, 15. Uh, marketplace basically should hold the 130 level is what I'm saying. And then we should get a punch up through that 130 60 and the ultimate targets the 131 57 level today ultimate supports 129.50 um i don't really see it going really down below that level today but like i said you know every time i say something like that i put my foot in my mouth so what if you got long basically you stay long and you know you start to put um you know a, a panic emergency stop below 129.50 that you have to decide yourself i i think that sterling is bid um if we, if we're lucky enough to get a, a pullback to like 129.73 today that would be a gift to try to get long again and the stop would be like say 129.40 and right now it's showing some strength you know it needs to get over that 13030 30, close above it and then we we could be going to hopefully accelerate to higher levels so i look forward to seeing you on the next video don't forget um, if you like what you see please like and subscribe leave some comments ask me if you want me to do some analysis on some other currencies i'd be happy to do that let me move myself to over here um and head on over to park avenue trading get yourself a free technical ebook you're going to love it it's like nothing you ever seen out there it's it's not rehashed bullshit it's true technical systems um and they've been battle tested in the most rigorous arena the spot foreign exchange market for over 20 years so there's some good stuff in that little free book look forward to seeing you next video and remember enjoy the party dance near the door cheers